Good afternoon, YouTube community. This is your boy, Ghost84. Just want to do an episode of Pack Wars. This time we're going to do something a little different. It's going to be left versus right, but only this time. Right side is actually going to be for my buddy, Joey. And left side is actually going to be for myself. Over the past weekend, I ended up going up to Pecatonica, Illinois. It's about four and a half hours north of me. And I visited some of my friends. And while I was up there, they ended up having a flea market going on. And at the flea market, there was a gentleman selling Pokemon cards, Marvel cards, all kinds of cool stuff. Needless to say, he wanted $11 for these, and we ended up getting them down to $275 for 36 packs. So we each ended up paying $37.50 a piece, and we're basically just going to crack $16 for him, $16 for myself. We're going to find out who has the best cards. Hopefully we can pull an alt art, which is typically like a really good card to pull. Um, kind of expensive raw and even more expensive in a better condition such as getting it graded. So let's go ahead and crack into it. We'll start with my side first. Put these 16 off to the side. And let's go ahead and crack into it. Try to figure out a decent way to rip these. All right. So like I was saying, these can have some really expensive cards. They got couple Umbreon alt arts as well as Rayquaza alt arts can range anywhere from like two to three hundred dollars raw I personally wasn't around whenever this set first came out I wasn't really into Pokemon I forgot what like the little Pokemon trick is I'm not too worried oh nice Cool. Got a little Rayquaza V. I don't know if the last cards are anything special. I don't think they are. Here we can uh, give these out to the coders. There you go. And I'm basically just going to penny sleeve and then top load if it's like a really good hit. All right, pack two, what to do? We'll give left side a point for that as well. <clears throat> so a lot of times they call this set evolving cries because the hits out of the packs are like super hard to come by. A lot of times you will say that they stole the hits, um, which could be true. Maybe somebody working at the company grabbed all the good ones. But then again, that's what makes the cards that much more expensive. Nice. That was pretty sweet looking. Three coders. Five cards. To the front if I want to do it. Are rare. Okay, go after the coders. Oh, this one looks cool. So we got Psyduck. Thank you. 
I was gonna try that five to the front, but I'm not gonna risk the chance of scraping the card. All right, reverse hollow. And our rare. For the coders. In the comments below, let me know if you guys ever pulled any alt arts from this set. Like, again, I, I think I've only seen maybe three Umbreon alt arts pulled. Typically, I watch uh, YouTube streamers do breaks on packs such as DJ Demo and Big Shots CC. And yeah, I, I feel like I've only seen three Umbreon alt arts. Seen a couple Umbreon um, full arts. I guess that's what they call them. Or VMAXs, maybe that's what they are. Coders. played Pokemon. I've been collecting Pokemon probably for the past <clears throat> maybe two years. Got back into it. I think this set came out maybe like three years ago. Some cool art on these. Oh, that one's look cool. Oh wow! So we got a Rayquaza V Max. So we just need this one to upgrade the style one more time. Uh, we want the Rayquaza V Max Alt Art. It's basically like the pack art looking one. Just put a penny sleeve on this. We'll definitely make sure that we give. Left side a point. Here's your code card. Well, I was at that flea marker. I also picked up some other Pokemon cards. They're actually counterfeit Pokemon cards. I'll rip up, rip those open in a later video. The gentleman had them posted as non-regulation cards. So I thought those might be a fun little rip. I only paid like a buck for them. All right, so Alteria, I guess that's a reverse holo. And Wishy Washy is our rare non holo Yeah, I started getting back into Japanese Pokemon more than English Pokemon. The set that got me back in is V Star Universe. Again, I think I started getting back into it probably about like two years ago, and that was like the set I started watching people crack. Definitely took interest in it. Got some cool cars of those. And our rare is the wishy-washy again. <laughs> Here's your code. Then after VMAX Climax, a set that intrigued me once again, it's also the Japanese style of 151. Pokemon 151. I was actually fortunate enough to pull a god pack out of the 151. I ended up getting the Charizard and Blastoise on the stream of djdemo.com. Again, he's on Twitch. Super cool dude. Really great prices. So penny sleeve and top load and even grade your cards. And that's what I ended up doing was 
ended up grading that god pack. And I actually got lucky. I got all tens, all six cards, evolution of Charizard, and then the evolution of Blastoise, all tinned out. So that was really cool. They're all sequentially numbered too. All right, so our reverse hollow and Smurgle, Smurgle. After 151, there's a couple more sets that I maybe bought a couple boxes, but kind of falling off. Feels a little diluted. Um, but right now, I'm really into collecting Marvel cards. Right now, the set that I'm collecting is called Marvel Platinum. This came out probably about like two months. And they got some cool cards in there. Oh, nice, there's an Eevee. It'd be cool to get a reverse hollow of the Eevee. And our rare is Sharkpedo. Make sure your code card. All right, we're getting close down to the last five or six packs here. So we can pull out something cool. So again, I think we need this to be upgraded like three or four times to get like the best of the best version. There's the Umbreon V, which is this one, the Umbreon VMAX, Umbreon VMAX Alt Art. I think there's like two different ones. Uh, down in the comments below, definitely make sure you rip me one on not knowing, <laughs> not knowing everything. Uh, we'll definitely make sure we get left side of point for this one because this one is cool. All right, down to the last five packs. I kind of peeked a little bit and I saw something shiny in there. Yeah, man. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> this is a really good card. Dang, the centering on it looks really good, too. Oh, my gosh. So cool. Oh, man. Oh, man. We're going to have to get two points for this. Oh, man. It's looking really good on the back, too. Dude, check it out. That's awesome, man. Like I said on the back, dude, it looks so clean. <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> All right, so we'll definitely have to make sure we top load this bad boy. Set them right there, and uh, like I said, let's give them two points. Wow, man, that's awesome! Here's your uh, code. <laughs> let's go! Heck yeah! Now we just need the uh, what I would call the evolved version but it's the more rare version. All right, so, Mareep, Drowsy, Scraggly, Boboss, 
Beavis. Uh, Hitman Chan, that looks freaking awesome. Ampharos, I really enjoyed this character back in the day. Thievil. A little Steel Energy. Dark coders. Alright. Three to go. Third from the last pack, Magic. Let's do this. And I, I'm not even sure if uh, these all came from the same box. These all could be just like singles that it was like older gentleman that I got them from. He seemed to know what he was talking about whenever my buddy was like, hey, let me get these for $7 a pack. The, oh, Pikachu, let's go. Heck yeah, man. We definitely got to get a point for him. All right. Whenever he spoke about, you know, let me get it for 7 bucks, the gentleman definitely knew what he kind of had. He was like, no, I'll just wait. I can wait till next uh, flea market I go to or whatever he said. But again, we got them for a little bit under eight dollars, which is awesome. You definitely can't find that really anywhere, let alone loose packs and having to worry about them being weighed. And that's just another reason why I enjoy breaking with this gentleman, DJ Demo, and Big Shot CCs, because I pulled straight heat from those guys, and you see straight fire pulled for other people, meaning that these guys don't weigh their packs. They're super fair and uh, legit. So if you get a chance, definitely check them out again. All right, second to pack, last pack magic. Teddy Ursa. Cryo O'Connell. Nick Lid. Dweeble. Kinda looks like something shiny in there. Rough Lid. Uh, yeah, I know. Okay, Gyarados, let's go, man. Yeah, we take those. <laughs> wow, that looks awesome. Heck yeah. There's your code. I want to sleep this little bad boy up. Let's get him a point. All right, last pack of magic. We call it a Moombrion. That's like the card we're kind of looking for. It's a Umbreon looking at a moon. And again, that card raw in decent condition can go for like anywhere from 250 to $400. And then grade it's well over $1,000 if you get a PSA 10. One of the things that's difficult is a PSA 10 in English just because the quality control is off being that they print out millions of cards. Oh sweet, Leafeon, let's go man. Okay, another point. Left side. Alright, so it looks like I wound up with eight. Not bad, man. For 16 packs. Uh, let me get you that code card, too. There you guys go. Or maybe that wasn't the right one. It's this one. There you go. Alright. It's on for my buddies' packs. Let me put my cards over here. And that Umbreon V looks awesome. Like I said, it looks pretty darn centered too. Too cool. All right, let me just move this stuff off to the side, push this over. All right, good luck right side. You're gonna be super awesome if he beats me with that Umbreon. The alt art, Umbreon. Ursa, I can just move these packs so don't bump anything. All 
All right, sorry. Okay, looks cool. Teddy Earth's a reverse hollow and our rare. This one's like a different hollow pattern. Rapid strike, jump, jump puff. It's gonna be our rare. Go ahead and sleeve that one up. Guard. All right, pack two. What to do? Hip hop or hip it, <laughs> Marie, Papa Fett. Love this. Reverse Hollow Trainer. And our rare is Pincer. Code. All right, pack three. Come on, lucky pack number three. Pikachu, let's go, heck yeah. Got to make sure we sleeve him up. We got Eevee, awesome. Psyduck, man, this pack is awesome. Keep it going. Okay, we're slowing down a little bit. <laughs> we're, whoa. Come on, pump the gas. Wow, there we go. Salamence. That looks cool. I'll definitely give him another point for that. That's your code. Side two points. All right, back three. All right, this is pack four, pack four. Shout out, big shot, CC. That's pretty cool looking. Heck yeah. Slick King. Wow, that was a cool. Let me sleeve these little guys up. Let me sleeve up that Crystal Cave too. There's your code card. Pack five. <laughs> nice, another Pikachu. We'll definitely make sure we get him a little point. Sweet Eevee. Dang, Psyduck. Dang, got all these little bangers in the front. Jump Puff. We got Florges. That's cool. Put in your code. See these two up. Again, we'll get Pikachu a point. Pikachu's always good for a point. Slothk. Come on. Do 
Weevil. Mareep. Got a trainer. First hollow. And our rare. High grid. Sorry if I butcher the name, sorry. Again, I came to this about a year after this set came out, so I really haven't heard the names out loud. <laughs> Looks cool, though. Maybe. Uh, I don't know if it deserves a point, though. I don't want to start giving them too many points. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's see an alt art. What is that? And I wish they were four dollars each. Shoot, <laughs> I just stole a tag off of something else. The gentleman that was selling these, he had all kinds of cards. I wanted to spend more money with them, but this is really like the main set I knew or had more knowledge of. He had like some Sun and Moon stuff for like four or five bucks a pack. He had some Japanese stuff, um, but again, I'm not too familiar other than V-Star Universe and Up, to say the least. All right, come on, Rare. Dang, man, he's getting all these freaking crazy hollows. Articuno, that looks freaking awesome. I don't think I got one single one that looks like this. Definitely make sure that we give Articuno a point. Coders. It almost seems like these packs are different a little bit. I only say that because the code cards have been backwards on these packs as opposed to my more forward facing. But again, maybe that just means that they're from different boxes. I mean, we can still pull something crazy. There we go. Code cards right side up. Or right side facing. Come on. Come on, after the spirit mask, uh, wishy-washy, coders. Chan, Toad, Sableye, Reap. Oh wow, that looks pretty cool. There's an artist on that. Cool looking card. Dang, another one of those uh, holographics. So I'll sleeve up these two. Looks like they're both rare. About 10 packs left. Serene, there we go. Stoutland, it's gonna be our rare. And there's your 
code card. Let's see what that Ursa ring to. Pretty cool looking dude. I remember him from the Neo Genesis days. If you guys haven't already checked out, I did show my vintage Pokemon collection, and that's literally going back to 1997 Japanese cards. Pocket Monsters, as they were once called. So, try and remember to leave a link at the end. All right. Come on. Pop it. The item. Read the sheep. Got a trainer. I feel like this is like the first trainer we've seen like that. Talon Flame, that's our rare. I can't remember if they have full art trainers in this set. It's pack six from the last pack magic. Come on. Love disc. See dot. Sloth. Vivi. Tono. Our rare is Marshallow. Come on, man. Where's our alt arts and remaxes? Yeah, I don't know if I showed that. There's that guy, too. All right, fifth from the bottom. Looks like we got something in this one. Kind of peeked out a little bit. Come on. Come on, Moonbrion. Good luck. This is going to be a reverse, right? Where the next one is. All right. Come on, Pump Gibu. Who are you protecting? Let it be that alt art Umbreon. Come on, or the Rayquaza. Okay, Lycan Rock V Max. We're warming up at least. There's your code card. Definitely make sure we get right side of point. Fourth from the last pack magic. Come on, baby. Keep this keep this heat alive. Let me cook. Alright, starting off with the Hitman Chan. There we go. There's a point. There's Pikachu. Come on, Pikachu. Hook us up. Alright, come on. Another hollow Jacob card. All right, come on. Third from the last pack magic. Usually, uh, number three is a good number. Come on, lucky dog.
Come on. Okay. No. Up done. I think we pulled that Umbreon on second to last pack of magic, so hopefully we can keep the streak alive. These are typically, I feel like the times that I did get good cards, they came out of this style pack with the all art on it. Come on. Reversa. Reverse. Come on, little dude. Dang. Right, you, though. That's what's up. Heck yeah. Here's your code card. So definitely make sure that we get right side of point for right, you. Last pack magic, can we do it? I believe. Come on. Being uh, up the card. All right, come on, baby. Last pack magic, let's go. There, there's a point, that's Pikachu. Come on. You just need one more to tie it. Or if it's a banger, we're getting two points. Come on, baby. Come on, what are you hiding? Please, hook him up. Ah, uh, whoa, let's go, heck yeah, man. All right, go alert. V, I'm pretty sure this is an alt art, so that's awesome, dude. Heck yeah, man. Uh, dang, man, I really don't wanna let him win, but I think we're gonna have to let him win. Dang, that looks pretty cool, dude. I, I, I personally never seen this card, and if I have seen this card, I never held it in hand. And it definitely has a lot of stuff going on in it. I think this is gonna be the winning factor for right side. Got a couple of sort of blues up there. A little bro right there. Wow. How's the condition of it? Whatever that might be, let me look. This looks like a piece of fuzz. Yep, it's gone. It's gone. Man, beautiful card, man. Again, picking these up at the flea market, you know, we definitely took the gamble on whether or not these were weight packs. Um, but wow, kudos to the old gentleman that didn't weigh the packs. Heck yeah, man. And again, shout out to him for not ripping us off, trying to make us pay 11 plus dollars. Um, kind of got him at the end of the show, so. Definitely pays off to hit up people at the end of shows and uh, ask them for a deal. So we'll definitely make sure that we get a point for, what was it? The Pikachu, yeah, Pikachu, and two points for this alt art, man. So congratulations, Joey, you won, dude. That's awesome. We didn't get the Umbreon alt art, but we definitely got some bangers, so too cool. Well, I appreciate everybody stopping in, checking out the video. Like I said, I'm gonna do a video about like these little fake packs that I bought. A uh, couple, or one of the names of the pack is gonna be XY Go Champions Path. So you can only imagine how eventful those are gonna be. But once again, appreciate everybody. Comment, like, subscribe. See y'all.